doubt will suffocate your dreams. And Les Brown says that doubt is a dream killer. Friends, if you are not careful, your doubt, your uncertainty, your frustrations, they will keep you locked out. I'll prove it to you. A motivational speaker was on a national tour. On the last stop, he speaks in Austin, Texas for a conference. He has these college students on fire with passion and finding their purpose. That night, he stays at the W Hotel in downtown Austin. It's beautiful, it's luxurious. He uses his cell phone to check in online. Now, he gets on the elevator, he goes to the ninth floor, and he arrives at room 914. He takes out his hotel key, it says room 914, and he tries to unlock the door with the hotel key card. It doesn't work. He tries again, it doesn't work. He tries again, doesn't work. He tries again, doesn't work. He tries again, and he is furious. He immediately calls the front desk, hey, I'm on the ninth floor and I'm staying in room 914, but my key card is not working. Somebody needs to fix this. I need you to send somebody to help me figure it out. Moments later, the hotel manager arrives. Well, sir, what seems to be the problem? The speaker says, well, I have my hotel key, 914, and as you can see, I'm at room 914, but it is not working, and I, I don't understand. The manager says, let me take a look at the hotel key card. The manager looks at it. Sir, how many times have you attempted to use this card? Well, I don't know. I must have tried it 99 times. Okay, well, sir, I understand. The manager says, let's have you try the key one more time. The speaker says to himself, okay, I get it. Obviously, this is some sort of test. How badly do you want to achieve your goals or when life doesn't work out? I, I get it, I get it, okay, fine. I'm gonna try one more time. He takes a deep breath. He tries it. Doesn't work. The speaker was furious. I told you, see, I told you it doesn't work. And, and I, I tried it and it doesn't make this sir. Wait, 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 wait. The manager asked the speaker, what does the card say? Well, it says room 914 and obviously we're at room nine. No, no, sir, look closely at the card. What does the card say? Well, yeah, it says Marriott, room 914, but sir, this isn't the Marriott. This is the W Hotel. And that card you're trying to use, it might have worked for an old door. But if you're trying to get into this new door, you are going to need a new key. Oh. Old keys can get you into old doors. But if you are trying to get into this new door, old keys, old habits, old mindsets, your old routines, I'm saying your old relationships, they will no longer work. I'm saying if you're trying to get to a new level in your life, the old way does not give you access. Watch this, your old key wasn't made for your new door. Ooh, oh, I know y'all don't like that. The manager says, I bet the first few times you tried your key, you thought something was wrong with the key. And the next few times you thought it was something wrong with the door. But on the last time, sir, I watched your eyes and you thought there was something wrong with you. And I'm telling you, there is nothing wrong with you. You are where you were supposed to be. You were at the right door, but it's the key. It's the way you were doing it. That goal, that dream, that job is still for you, but you are going to have to change how you are doing things. Friends, the old excuses will not work at the new job. The old habits are not gonna help you get meaningful relationships. The old mindset is gonna prevent you from accessing and unlocking the new opportunity. And what you are truly seeking is just on the other side of this door. But you are gonna need a new key.